Is there just walk me through the emotions of maybe not just even just today, but the whole second half of the season. Things that go right, things that go wrong. Uh, I think it was just a sense of urgency for us this week. Um, just to, you know, go out there and, you know, just be bowl eligible. Try to take it one week at a time. But um unfortunately it didn't turn out that way for us, so uh, it was kinda tough. Why so defensively? You guys uh, had gotten better in recent weeks, but today, especially that first half, some of the old stuff came back. Uh, I think schematically, the offense, um, they dialed us up a little bit at the beginning. So uh, doing that, they got up a little bit on us. Um, and then as we made adjustments throughout the second half, I think uh, we had the upper hand. Uh, but unfortunately, we just couldn't get it done at the end of the game. What allowed you guys to actually hold and Neil brought this up as one of the things that if you would have told him before the game, you would contain Deuce Vaughn, he would have felt comfortable about a victory. Obviously, Deuce Vaughn got going early, but what allowed you guys to contain him the rest of the way, and then how did that not impact the game? Really? Uh, I think it was just, you know, understanding what we had to face uh, the first few drives, you know, not knowing what the offense was going to give us. Um, but as, you know, time went on, we were able to make adjustments, and we were able to go out there and execute. But like I said, unfortunately, it wasn't enough at the end. To reflect on your time at West Virginia. Obviously, it's been short, but uh, your thoughts, you know, what what did you think when you transferred here? What, what's the reality been like? Uh, I think not understanding, like, what I would expect coming here, to be honest, uh, but then coming in and being welcomed by open arms. Uh, it just felt like I felt I filled uh, four years all in one semester. Uh, I made a lot of relationships and friendships, and, you know, the coaches, I wouldn't trade them for the world, but – uh, I would just say it's a dream come true as well. Um, growing up, finally, you know, putting on the flying WV, that's something that most kids don't get to do. And I'm excited and proud that I could be one of those guys. How tough is it to transition when you walk for the game and then 10 minutes later you're out there playing, trying to stop those guys and trying to kind of balance those emotions? <sighs> it's hard uh, knowing that this is the game where I got to see my family in a long time. Um, and being a senior, last time playing uh, out there on that field, um, but then turning around, you know, playing against my former coaches, that was pretty rough as well. So um, I think I just had to balance it out throughout the week, um, knowing, you know, what was important and just taking every day one step at a time. So. You mentioned uh, what Kansas State was doing schematically. Um, anything specific that, that, that made it difficult? Um, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, I just knew that, you know, they had a, they had a great plan coming in. And, you know, they, they attacked, you know, whether it was throwing the ball deep or, you know, getting Deuce Vaughn, you know, touches. Um, yeah, they they were able to get plays going. But I think in the second half, we were able to, you know, make stops as well. But, yeah, it just wasn't enough, unfortunately. Was it, was it stuff that you maybe weren't expecting or was it just the way that they were kind of executing? Uh, I would say it's the way, you know, it's stuff we weren't expecting, you know, going FIB and, you know, moving the safety over, uh, just the little things, all the trade shift motions. That's something that, uh, you know, it's kind of hard for a defense to adjust to. Seeing your coaches on the other sideline, what, what was that like? Did you have any pregame conversation? I did. Uh, I talked to head coach, uh, Kleiman. You know, he told me that, you know, he still had love for me. And the same with uh, Coach Riles, uh, because those are guys who gave me the opportunity to play college football. Um, but yeah, no, it it was a, it it was great to see them again. Um, but you know, being at West Virginia, you know, I was gonna give it all I got so that we can come out with that victory as well. What's your impression of Coach Kleiman and, and you know how he kind of seamlessly went from North Dakota State up to here and, and still had success? Uh, I just think it's the scheme. You know, having guys knowing what they're doing, uh, and having great guys like off the field as well. Um, great leaders. I know they pride them, themselves on that, and um, I feel like I'm one of those guys as well who came out of that system. Um, but, yeah, it's most of their guys who play for them, you know, willing to do anything for them and just understanding their role. How would you evaluate your season individually? Do you feel at all that you kind of prove something? Because despite success at, at that level, it's not a power five level. And do you think you prove what you wanted to prove this year individually speaking? I wouldn't say I, I proved anything. Um, at the end of the day, I'm still, you know, Jazeera, the same one who played at North Dakota State last year. Uh, 
but I felt I, I improved it, like as a person um, and just played against better competition. So, so yeah. Colder games at North Dakota State than today? <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, thank God we had a dome, but, you know, <laughs> practicing outside was still kind of rough. But, yeah, I think that prepared me for, you know, games like this. I didn't feel it was that cold. Um, shoot, I'm going to be the same guy just wearing no sleeves out there. <laughs>